unfortunately for you guys tonight, seemed like one too many turnovers. Yeah, I mean, I really heard the one turnover, we turned it over on the 20, we'd have been right there, and, and we had to play almost a perfect game to beat him. And the guys did a great job. I and mean, We were left for dead about five weeks ago and came back, played our butt off, you know, basically four or five weeks in a row here, and, and we're that close to beating the top seed. So I'm, you know, super proud of the guys. I mean, they couldn't, they couldn't have played any harder. Couldn't have been any more physical. An optimistic way to look at the season. How will you uh, remember your 2008 season, seeing as you just mentioned the troubles you guys had in the beginning? Guys that overcame adversity. We were left for dead against, uh, you know, we played overtime against Marina, and uh, then we uh, got smoked by Newport, and then, you know, like I said, we were left for dead. And then we came back, played four great games in a row, and came within one player or two of beating the top seed. So I I'm real proud of these guys. They, This senior class won four straight league championships. That's something to be proud of, but what do you think of Long Beach Poly? You saw them firsthand tonight. How do you think they're going to fare going into the next round of the Pac-5? Uh, Pac-5 is so unbelievably tough. I mean, they, I'm sure they got as good a shot as anybody. I mean, they got great talent, and they're well coached, and just everybody's so damn good. That's what makes the Pac-5 so tough. There's no there's no cakewalks. You know, you, from game one on, you're you know, playing your butt off, so I'm sure they'll, they'll be in a war again next week, and then a, a war in the final if they make it, so good luck to them. And we knew it was going to be a nice physical game, and it was going to be a battle, and we thought, we were, if we were going to win it, it had to be in the fourth quarter. And we told the kids, somebody has to make a play. And uh, obviously, Julian made a big play. Speaking of Julian, I was going to ask you if you felt that earthquake up and down the field. I mean, what uh, can you describe that play? I mean, that came out of nowhere. It caught everybody by surprise. Well, I'm going to tell you the first thing was, OK, get past the linebackers. And then Morgan, get the ball there. Yeah. And then my only thing is just get the first down. And then we started running. I'm like, oh, my goodness, he might score. And uh, it was just funny. We, the main thing is when he was running down or hang on to the ball, hang on to the ball. And he did. And then they tackled him on the one yard and we were successful to get a touchdown. Long Beach Poly defeats Esperanza tonight 17 to 10 because they were able to take care of the Aztecs mistakes. But the play of the game had to go to Julian Camper. The 6'5", 270 pound senior caught the ball and set up a touchdown for his teammate Richardson. That would seal the deal for the Jackrabbits. They will be on the road next week in the Pac-5 semifinals. Reporting from Placentia, I'm Jonathan Camus for OCVarsity.com.